Concerns in Englewood about 20 registered sex offenders living in one building. It's a story we first told you about last month, except we've learned the number is much higher. Police say 54 registered sex offenders live there. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov found out it raises some serious legal concerns. There are 12 units in this Inglewood building, but put the zip code into the Illinois Department of Corrections database for registered sex offenders, and 60 of them currently list this address as their home. This is happening in Inglewood. Inglewood activist Andrea Drain says it's unacceptable. Illinois Department of Corrections and the city of Chicago utilizes our community as a dumping ground. It's 40 more convicted sex offenders than originally thought when our Jermont Terry first investigated and includes men like Casey Williams who assaulted and murdered a toddler in the 90s and who isn't from Chicago. I was shot. Former resident Jasmine Tinsley says the landlord didn't even tell her about the former offenders until after she moved in while pregnant with her six-year-old. Why is there so many sex offenders and pedophiles registered to this address? Civil rights attorney Adele Nicholas says these men have very few living options. Right now, there's a crisis that's been created by Illinois law, which puts almost all of the housing in the entire state off limits. But is it legal for so many former offenders to live in one building? Illinois statute states people convicted of a sex offense on parole and probation should refrain from residing at the same address or in the same condominium unit with another person he or she knows is a convicted sex offender, unless it's transitional housing. This is not a halfway house. These are people who pay rent and have a lease agreement with the landlord. Which raises one legal red flag, but there's another perspective. You have to check in, you have to check out. It's mandatory for them to take sex offender classes. This registered offender says he also has to wear an ankle monitoring bracelet. I'm just out here, man. I just want to live. We agreed not to show his face, but we listened. People in here cry every night. They sorry for the things that they did. They serve time. I'm 31 years old. I got to constantly explain the, the actions of an 18-year-old kid. If you believe that people can change, give them a chance, man. I talked to the landlord, Amir Mustafa, who says these men have a right to rent and live wherever they are able. And he says no nonprofit is running its operation out of this building. It still, though, doesn't alleviate many concerns held by Inglewood residents. In Inglewood, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Dana, our thanks.